Kyle Rittenhouse, I'll be doing a Kyle Rittenhouse interview. Oh, you might have missed this. I talked to Kyle the other day. Um, I no longer have the barriers to Kyle that I had. Uh, if, if you guys don't know this, I've been trying to... You guys are like, get Kyle Rittenhouse on for an... Yeah, no fucking shit. No fucking shit. I should have Kyle Rittenhouse on for an interview. Everybody on earth knows this, except for one giant gaping asshole. And that was the guy who I had to talk to who was preventing Kyle Rittenhouse from seeing my communications. But that guy is now gone. So Kyle Rittenhouse and I will be doing an interview in the first week of January. I'm going to figure out a day, but that's the week. Once I lock down the day, I'll tell you. I may even create the stream. It's going to be streamed on all platforms. I'm going to hype it like fucking crazy. I hope other people like, you know, massive Twitter accounts and shit will hype it too. But finally... We're going to get the interview. And guess what? I'll directly ask Kyle in the interview. Hey, why didn't you interview with me before? And I hope he tells you. Like, I'm not retarded, guys. Believe me. I've been trying to get this interview for a year. Only recently was it even possible. Not because of me. And not because of Kyle. But because some fucking loser of a middleman who would rather try and ingratiate himself to other major right-wing broadcasters using Kyle as a commodity or an asset. I think I talked about this. I think I've talked about this. this. These people were abusing Kyle, not for Kyle's benefit, but for their benefit. Over and over again, I'll speak at CPAC. I'll be on this show, be, be on this show, be on this show, be on this show, be on, this show, be on, be on all these favorite shows. These favorite networks. Why? Why didn't he go on any independent stuff? I think it was because of Kyle. Does Kyle strike you as that kind of guy? Long story short, Kyle will be on first week of January and have a good time. I don't know where he's going to be. Probably remote. But if he wants to do it in person, he's welcome to my house. I'll bring him out, show him a good time, have some fun. You can hang out. You can sit right here where Drex would sit. Have a good interview. I don't know if that's going to happen. It almost happened, by the way, the other day. But, uh, but yeah, if he wants to come, I'll fly him out here. I'll fly him out. I'll drive to the airport and pick him up. But it'll probably end up being remote, just so, just so we're clear. But anyway, uh, Kyle's a good dude. Uh, finally get to talk to him now, and, um, and we're going to have an interview. He said, first week of January. I said, yeah, buddy, let's pick a day. Let's do it. So we're working that out. And don't bring Drex. No one else. I would, guys, for the Kyle Rittenhouse interview, there will be literally nobody else involved in this at all. Ever. There was never gonna be. Kyle was gonna be me and Kyle. From the start, I, I didn't have any intention to bring anybody else on. Not like, what the fuck? Who else? I'm not trying to be a dick or a narcissist or whatever, but I do interviews one on one. And honestly, like with, with Kyle Rittenhouse, who the fuck else would I have on with him? No. No. By the way, I told that to his handlers too. Because his handler was really concerned I might talk to Robert Barnes. Because his handler was an insecure faggot. Pile of trash. Who can get fucked for all I care. And you know why? Because he messed with my interview? No. Because he sat there fucking Kyle constantly. Just ruining him. Just abusing him. Taking him to all of the shit that didn't matter. Why? For his own cloud. Not doing anything in Kyle's interest at all. If he had any interest in Kyle Rittenhouse, Kyle Rittenhouse would have had a YouTube channel a fucking year ago. He'd be a millionaire. 
He would have had a million subscribers. But this dumb motherfucker didn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Instead, well, I got to take you to CPAC. CPAC's really important. CPAC's where all the cool people go. You watch CPAC lately? Have you watched it? One in 30 good speakers, right? Maybe Madison Cawthorn can show up again at CPAC and talk about how he puts his dick on his friend's face as a joke while humping him naked. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that's a good idea. CPAC, that's where the real, that's the power brokers now. Jesus fucking Christ. But you know who CPAC is good for? People who bring guests. Why? You bring the guests. You don't have to be on CPAC. You don't have any of the pressure, but you bring guests. You bring speakers. Oh, you get invited to CPAC. You get to eat nice. Maybe get your hotel and plane flight paid for. Maybe you get introduced to some hot conservative women. Mm. Who are you? Oh, I'm the guy who brought Kyle. Hey. Fuck all these people. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking tired. The fucking machine on the Republican side is 99% as gay as the machine on the Democrat side. I trust none of these fucking people. And I'm tired of all of them pretending they're important. All I want to do is talk to Kyle because he's a kid who has lived through more life than most people you'll ever meet. That's fucking interesting to me. I don't know about you guys.